Hello, this is Live Long Gear, and today, well, right now, um, I'm actually trying to find a good saw. I just did another video a minute ago about a, uh, about a bow saw that I bought. Also, at the same time, I saw this. It kind of came out of the packaging already, but it's a sportsman's pocket saw. Ooh. Um, so I, I've kind of played with one of these when I was in the Boy Scouts a number of years ago. And they're kind of cool. They're very tiny, very compact. Um, basically, I mean, you you know, they're, they're a metal, they're very, uh, very coarse metal. There, intentionally, let's see if we can see that. Very coarse metal. Um, you know, the whole thing is, and that's a, basically, that's like a micro, what I'm going to call a micro saw. And it's meant to, you know, get in and it's, it's almost like metal sandpaper is what I think of it. You know, you just, you pull and pull and pull back and forth and back and forth and it will saw through stuff. So in the picture here, um, now don't underestimate how difficult this can be or how hard on your fingers this can be. In the picture here, he has it wrapped around the tree. Um, and he's just pulling back and forth and it's making a nice cut all the way through it. Now notice um, on this side of the tree where these are obviously not touching, there's a cut. That's most likely because when you use these, you have to work your way, your way around it. Uh, and always, you know, he doesn't, he's not doing it here very well. He's kind of cutting at an angle. It's very important that when you cut trees, uh, you cut them at an angle so you can kind of tell the direction of fall. Um, you know, you don't, you don't want it to have it just slip off the stump and hit you right off the bat. So the only negative to this is that you can't cut very large trees. I think it's an excellent survival tool because of its compact size. It's very tiny. Um, nope, oh, something's happened here and you can't see the dollar. Ooh, there it is. Alright, so you know, I mean, it's, you, you could probably wrap it up here. Oh, it's kind of careful. Just, anyways, you could probably wrap it up to be pretty small. So it's kind of nice. Fairly compact though, I mean... I've even seen a friend of mine had one on his keychain and I didn't even know what it was. Um, you know, you just fit the keys on these rings here. But, anyhow, so this is Koglin's Sportsman's... Koglin's Sportsman's Pocket Saw. Um, it recommends that... Uh, oh, it says, it says that it is made from the finest materials available. Available to them, most likely. Um, says it will cut through wood, metal, plastic, um, and it doesn't have any sharp edges. It, it's true, it does not have sharp edges, but as I was trying to wind it, you know, I did grab a hold of my finger a little bit. It's not cut, but there's a, defin a definitive line. So, you know, just don't, don't brush against it real fast. Uh, it, it's uh, two-handed use, it says. Uh, place thumbs in the rings, extend the blade, this, this thread being the blade here. Uh, so it's tight and straight, and it says saw with brisk back and forth back and forth motions. So, it also recommends that for one-handed use, you can cut a green branch about as thick as your thumb. So, you best not have big thumbs. Um, and four inches longer than the saw. So, this is, this is pretty lengthy. Let's see if we can, if I can measure this in a dollar for you. So, from the beginning of the first ring to there, this is not a very scientific measurement, I'm sure you can tell. But it'll give you an idea. So you got... Oh, a dollar's leaving me. Uh, you got another two lengths. So I'm going to say about... It's probably going to end up being about three and a half. Alright. About three... Yeah, about three and a half. So it's about three and a half dollar lengths. Um, you know, so, so you're going to... It says cut four inches longer than that. Um, uh, the branch notch the end of the branch each end of this green branch you cut uh, and insert the opposite ring over the notch So it the, the diagram has the notch well, Here I'll show you. You know you cut your notch pretend these fingers are a really gigantic notch and it says and th this so So basically if my fingers were notches the branch was curved, you know like this um, That it wants the ring to go outside like, like so obviously tightened so it'll be tightened like that and then you can use the branch and it will be a one-handed saw 
So it's kind of nice if you smash your hand, sprain your wrist, you want to be softer on one wrist, you can, you can use that and you have that option with this particular tool. So it's kind of cool. Uh, here's your diagram, as I call it, as they call it, for your, for your saw. Um, you know, there's your two-handed instructions. So it's pretty, pretty handy. Um, you know, it's something I wouldn't mind giving to a kid on a camping trip with some some level of use uh, over a regular saw. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, learning the hard way, but you know when you have things like a saw or a blade, you, you want to be careful. That's not something you need to learn the hard way. So I'm going to cut part of my board here just to show you. It's a big board. Let's see if we can't get this thing. Oh, see if we can get the camera to face it. All right, I'm just going to slide it under. Careful not to hit the table. And here we go. It's definitely not stealthy. Oh, shit. Man, I love the smell of fresh cut wood. It actually smells like burnt, burning wood a little bit. Um, just from the freak. I would not be surprised if you could start a fire with it. And I'm gonna stop right there. But you get an idea. You can see it's a couple inches in the board, or about an inch in the board, half an inch or so. It actually has gotten very warm. So I would actually wash that a little bit, just because you don't want, if you're depending on this in a survival situation or you use it regularly, they're not expensive. You know, I want to say it was three bucks, four bucks. So I would definitely pick one of these up, actually. I highly recommend these. There's a lot that can be done with them. They're not the fastest tool in the world. They're not the best tool in the world, but they're very lightweight, very compact. Uh, and they do offer you quite a few options as far as sawing. You could probably use this to saw through animal bone. Um, you know, it might be a little messy with the marrow, but uh, you could probably use this, um, you know, I hesitate to say to saw through a fence, but if you had to, uh, you know, for some reason your legs were broken, you couldn't climb, you could probably use it for that. You can also, you could probably also, well, you might be able to rig this for a snare of types. So it, it doesn't really slide against itself very well, but uh, I get the feeling that if an animal got stuck in it, um, for sure, I feel like the animal would have a very difficult time getting out with these edges being able to grab a little bit. So I don't know if you can see my little mess that I've made now. There it is. There'd be the mess. And uh, yeah, all in all, good product. I'm happy with it. And I uh, hope you guys are too if you pick one up. I, I kind of recommend them. I'd say overall, yeah, buy one. It's cheap. It's fun to play with. Give it to kids. Go practice it yourself. Um, not as easy on the fingers. I don't even have any red lines on my fingers from using it. But, you know, I'm cutting uh, particle board, so not real tough stuff. All right, guys, comment. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me what you want to see me do with it. I'm Hopefully, I'm going to take all this stuff out soon. Uh, eventually, I guarantee I will, and try it all. Comment, subscribe. Subscribe so you can see my other videos. I need feedback. I'm new to this, to doing the videos regularly. So give me some feedback, and uh, yeah, watch my other ones. Check them out. I'm going to put more up about this, about other saws. Trying to get a base comparison for all the different types of Koglins and Coleman's materials, sporting goods, things like that, um, so that people can have an idea on whether or not a product is what they want or if they should probably spend more money um, or if you know it's worth a try so take care guys